he stands out from them by the far greater extent of his impact and the distinctive feature of his teaching, which had at its heart the proclamation of the imminent arrival of a new kingdom of God. He was not the Messiah most of his compatriots were expecting, but he may have sought to change those expectations. New evidence of the tradition of a secret baptismal ritual may explain what secured the loyalty of his closest followers and some of the more esoteric stories about him. There's no evidence that anyone, least of all himself, would have seen him as God incarnate. But the stories about Jesus do not end with his crucifixion. What happened afterwards and the events which conspired to make Christianity the largest religion in the world will be the subject of the final part of this series. For the last 400 years, New Testament scholarship has steadily eroded confidence in the historical reliability of the Bible and in the image it paints of Jesus as the Son of God. New approaches have tried to place Jesus more clearly in the context of his time. He emerges as one in a long line of Jewish holy men from Galilee, more revered than the rest, but in the same tradition. There's no evidence that he ever intended to establish a new religion or that anyone saw him in his lifetime as divine. How then, after his death, did he come to be seen as the founder of a mighty church which worships him as God? Uh -huh.